Bilbo's speech. It has one of the most intentionally confusing lines in all of Tolkien's work. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like, and I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. Welcome to Nerd of the Rings. Today we're gonna to take a closer look at Bilbo's famous line to determine if it's an insult or a compliment. One thing to establish first off is that Bilbo loves a good joke. Can you see their faces? Just look at the gifts he leaves for people when he departs the Shire, as it was customary for hobbits to give gifts on their birthdays rather than receive them. For Adelard Took, who carried off many unlabeled umbrellas, an umbrella. For Dora Baggins, who was the oldest relative of Bilbo and Frodo at 99 years old, and who had written reams of advice for more than half a century, he left a waste paper basket in memory of a long correspondence. For Milo Burroughs, who never answered letters, a gold pen and ink bottle. I find these two gifts in particular very funny because if he would have just switched them, he could have been more nice than funny. But he chooses to be funny, which is awesome. For Hugo Bracegirdle, a great borrower of books, but worse than usual at returning them, he gives an empty bookcase and notes it as being from a contributor. It should be noted that not all his gifts were jokes though. Many of the less well-to-do hobbits were gifted handsomely. The book mentions Rory Brandybuck and Gaffer Gamgee doing quite well. Now that we know Bilbo is not just a prankster, but he also shows great fondness, let's get to the speech. He starts off his speech by saying, I'm immensely fond of you all, and... 71 years is far too short a time to live among such excellent and admirable hobbits. This gets a tremendous outburst of approval. Later comes the big moment. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like, and I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. In response to this, there's some scattered clapping, but most of the hobbits are trying to work out whether or not it was a compliment. We know that there are 144 hobbits in attendance. When Bilbo says, I don't know half of you half as well as I should like, he's saying that 72 of the 144 he would like to know them better. The action he is referring to here is knowing them. There's no mention of whether he likes them or not in this first section. However, saying that you would like to know someone better could naturally be taken as a compliment. So he is at least complimenting half of the attendees. Now the tricky part and I like less than half of the half as well as you deserve. So somewhere between one and 71 of the hobbits, he likes half as well as they deserve to be liked. So for example, if on a scale of one to 10, a hobbit deserves to be liked an eight, but Bilbo only likes them a four, that would qualify. However, if he likes someone, let's say Lobelia Sackville Baggins, a one, and she deserves to be liked a one, she would not qualify in this statement. And let's say this guy, Bilbo, likes a four, but he deserves to be liked a nine. He also would not qualify because that's less than half, not half. Maybe this guy, Bilbo, likes a four, but he deserves to be liked an eight because he'd probably be a lot more fun if his wife wasn't around. <laughs> he would qualify. Bilbo likes him exactly half of what he deserves to be liked. In this case, Bilbo would be speaking to one of the Proudfoots. Hmm. Actually, on second thought, maybe we should bump him down to a three. In a nutshell, we can conclude that Bilbo is complimenting half the crowd by wishing he knew them better. And somewhere between one and 71 of the hobbits, he likes them exactly half as much as they deserve to be liked. With plenty of room for Bilbo to like someone more, or less than half as much as they deserve. So now we're all on the same page and completely understand Bilbo's speech, right? No? Hmm. You know, I'm starting to think the guy who invented a dozen languages and one of the greatest mythologies of all time was smarter than all of us and is kind of messing with us just like Bilbo did his guests. Did you see their faces? Well, please subscribe to Nerd of the Rings and I promise that I will like you at least half as much as you deserve. See you next time.